We have actually a new president of the European Commission and he realized that Europe needs investment. One of his first requests was to have a 300 billion plan to revitalize the Eurozone. So what is the context? Basically, so far this year, the Eurozone's growth was much meager than expected. We have still very high unemployment. We have still very high real rates, depending on different countries. Credit growth is not there. And countries are not really competitive in itself. So this makes that Europe is very, very much exposed to foreign demand and to foreign shocks. Now, our view is not that this gloomy picture will persist. If we look at the big European economies, without doubt, Germany has been the Eurozone locomotive. That was very positive. However, recently what we saw for Germany is that industrial manufacturing over the last three months plunged. And if you look at the second economy in Europe, France, France has very weak business confidence indicators. France, probably prices of real estate in France are still very high in Paris. But if you go to the holiday housing market in France, there are very many places where the holiday houses today are probably between 20 to 30% below 2007. So that's a clear indication people really distrust of investing today in France and something needs to be happening here. And last but not least, if we look at the third largest economy of the Eurozone, Italy, there have been very few structural changes. So the key question is, how can we adopt those economies that we become again more competitive and that we see a much stronger growth in Europe? The key for Europe in the short term is actually the euro. When we speak about the euro, what we expect actually the euro to do is depreciation because that's the only way in the short term that we can raise competitivity and again exports. Let's not forget euro, the eurozone has a 40% market share of international trade. So a competitive currency is very, very important. Now, this euro will not necessarily depreciate just because the ECB pushed down interest rates to negative rates or because they push more liquidity into the system. But the euro might also depreciate because Chairwoman Yellen has clearly indicated that by October the quantitative easing in the US will be finished. And probably over the next 12 months we will see an increase in rates in the US. So money flows will probably flow from the euro again into US dollar assets. And there's a lot of uncertainty left to that. We are convinced that over the next 12 to 24 months, the euro will be much lower than today. Investors will see a lot of volatility because there's a wall of worries still being established at this stage. Normally that's very good for markets. However, a wall of worries means also very clearly that volatility will increase, especially as monetary policies will not be any more as accommodative. Our recommendation to any investors is write a storm.